Jack Deshay was sentenced to more than 10 years in prison and ordered to register as a sex offender for life. And new at 5, our tenders reporter Steve Theorina joins us on this story. And Steve, Deshay's attorney claims that he's a different person today. A young man getting constant psychiatric care for the past two years now says he's sorry he tried to grab that little girl using clear packing tape to keep her quiet while he tried to abduct her. Wearing glasses now, Jack Doshay sat quietly as the attorneys argued whether he should get credits for time served for the two years he's been in therapy. A guilty plea to kidnapping and assault with intent to molest. The sentence, 10 years, four months in prison. The defense talked about Doshay's mental illness being to blame for his trying to grab that little girl from Skyline Elementary in Solana Beach. He was arrested after his DNA was found on the clear packing tape that he had wrapped around the little girl's head that day. It was ill-conceived. It was dangerous. He shouldn't have done it. The person that did that two years ago had, prior to that, attempted suicide. Not once, not twice, but three times. Um, he was a troubled young man. Judge Timothy Casserly agreed to credit for custody for Doshay's treatment time, but not credit for good conduct. Afterward, the opposing attorney shared thoughts about the sentencing. We're relieved that he finally admitted to what he did, pled guilty to the crimes that he committed, and now he's going away for a 10-year, four-month sentence. He's also required to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. He can't be near schools or other places where children are present. Dossier's attorney says therapy should continue to help him. He is someone now who has been relieved of that very severe, crippling mental illness. Oh, he feels awful. But Jack Doshe feels awful about this, as he should. The judge recommended that Doshe serve his time at the California Men's Colony in San Luis Obispo. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.